Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I just want to do a follow-up review on the shoes that I wore on the uh, John Muir Trail uh, last summer. These are the Trexta Evolution 161 GTXs. These are Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. And I really like these. These were super comfortable on the trail. I wore these for probably, I'd say a good hundred miles or so. The rest of the time I was pretty much wearing my bedrock sandals, uh, which I love as well. I wanted to kind of go over the pros and cons with this shoe, especially on a through hike, so to speak, uh, like the John Muir Trail, for example. Now, on the bottom, you can see where the, the tread was kind of ripped up. Now, granted, I, as I said, I put over, well over a hundred miles on these things before and after the trail, and, you know, the bottom of the boot still looks really good. Everything is, you know, pretty solid, still held up really well. I mean, the, the front cap is starting to peel off a little bit here. Uh, there's a couple little gashes here and there. There's a gash on the side right here, and I don't know how I got that right there. But the downside to that was it allowed water to get in. So my Gore-Tex boots were pretty much not waterproof. And you know, if you know anything about Gore-Tex or waterproof footwear, that it usually takes forever, forever to dry. And that's what happened. So I had experienced that on the John Muir Trail. You know, there were several times we were going along and stream crossings and whatnot. Your feet get wet. It happens. Not a big deal. But when you have a waterproof shoe, they take forever to dry. So next time I do the trail, I'm going to be doing something a little bit not waterproof. Actually, not waterproof at all and way breathable. Probably, you know, Ultras or maybe Hoka 1-1s or something like that. Um, I actually just applied for an uh, ambassador program through Nike. So we'll see what happens there. Wish me luck. Uh, aside from that, this is the Evolution GTX Mid. Now, you know, there's a couple little rough marks on the back here. That's to be expected. There's a lot of granite and you're scrambling, you're going over rocks and there's, you know, boulders everywhere. For the most part, comfort-wise, they were great. Super comfortable. I wore these for, you know, many miles every day and I didn't have any issues. No real blisters, so to speak. I wish the, uh, the foot box was wider. I do have wide feet and my pinky toe and my second toe on the top got blisters. Um, not anything like super major. I mean, they were totally manageable, but still kind of just bugged me. Um, I just wish that these were wider because uh, I have wide feet. Now, I, they didn't really have like a wide foot option when I ordered them either. So aside from that, they're also pretty heavy. You know, comparatively speaking to my Ultras, these things weigh twice as much. So um, although they were durable, they took a beating over the trail and I knew they would. So, good job Trexta, they make quality footwear. I just don't think that these would be good for a through hike uh, or anything that would be uh, if you're going to get wet. You know, if there's, a if there's a chance you're going to get wet, I'd probably, uh, for me personally, I wouldn't bring Gore-Tex shoes uh, or any waterproof shoe for that matter. Uh, aside from that, these are super comfortable and yeah, good job Trexta. So, just wanted to shoot a little quick little follow-up after my trail last year, you know, when I did this hike, you know, I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of things that I actually used on the trail and tell you my final thoughts after it was all said and done. So once again, great job Trexta. Um, I did, I don't know if you noticed that, but I did take the laces and move them back a notch. Uh, I saw a video from Lint, um, Lint, if you're watching, how's it going, bud? Um, and he did this so we can basically expand the front of the foot box or the toe box a little bit more to try to get a little bit more room in there. And it worked. Uh, for the, those of you out there that are trying to do something, need a little bit more room, it's probably a good idea. Give it a try. You might like it. So that's my follow-up review on the Trexta Evolution 161 GTX mid Gore-Tex hiking boots, shoes, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I, I'd probably rate them probably a 7 to 8 out of 10. The gash on the side there, I didn't like. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a tear. That's like a... That's a serious issue right there, you know, and if they weren't, if they weren't waterproof, it wouldn't be a big deal, but because they were waterproof, water got in and I was just slogging along all day and they just, you know, they just took forever to dry. But aside from that, great comfortable shoe, 
definitely worth it and uh, they definitely took a beating. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, do please like, share, and subscribe. So hit that button right down there. Make sure you also hit that bell icon. When you do that, you're gonna be notified anytime I post a new video. And I post new videos every week. As for the sizing on these boots, um, these are a size nine. I usually wear like a 10 and a half uh, to an 11 uh, on some shoes. So I don't understand what the difference is, but these are a size nine and keep, you know, so when you're ordering, my suggestion would be to order like a couple of different sizes. Like if you're a size 10, for example, order a size 9, a 10, and maybe a 10 and a half, 11. This way, you know, if you're ordering online, you can't really try on the shoes and see if they work for you. But if you order a few sizes, then you can just try them on at home, say, you know, hey, this one works, this one doesn't, this one feels the best, and then take the other two and just ship them back. That would be my suggestion for you and my follow-up review on the Trexta Evolution Mid, Evolution 161 Mid GTX boots from Trexta. Here's Trexta's website right here. Definitely wanna make sure you check these guys out. These guys making cool shoes and they make a lot of boots and hiking and backpacking footwear. Uh, and they have been doing so for a pretty long time too. So in my opinion, definitely worth a look at. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care guys. Get outdoors.